today is the 22nd of June. I don't know when this vlog will go up because I'm not planning on posting a vlog for the next couple of weeks because we have family visiting so I'll probably vlog a little bit while they're here and then post it when they leave. I wanted to share yesterday was a pretty eventful day for me because A, I got my nails did. I have my claws back and I'm so <laughs> Excited. I don't know what the color is called, but I know that it's by the brand Jamberry. So if anyone is that curious, leave me a comment down below and I will ask the lady what the shade name is called and I'll put it in a comment down below. If you care that much, you can ask me and I'll find out for you. And also yesterday, I discovered my new favorite Starbucks drink. Oh my gosh, you guys, I've, I've been trying so hard not to be like that Starbucks girl. They just make it so hard. If you are a tea person, or even if you're not, if you're like a lemonade sweet kind of girl, or, bo or boy, get, go to Starbucks and get a blackberry mojito green tea lemonade. I know, right? It's probably horrible for you. I tried to look up the nutrition information to convince myself not to get another one because there's probably so much sugar in it, but I couldn't find the nutrition information, so now I just have to keep buying them. But seriously, they're so good. And when I ordered it, I had no idea that it had lemonade in it. I didn't see lemonade on the on the board because I saw it on the menu, and I just was like, hey, that sounds good. And so I ordered it, and when I got my cup, and you know how they write like their little abbreviation of whatever you got, and I was like, what does that L stand for? I could not figure it out until I went to go look up the nutrition information, and it said lemonade, and I was like, oh, that's that little tang sweet scent to it scent and on that page that I found of the nutrition information it said that it had a splash of lemonade in it so I'm sure you could ask them to 86 the lemonade if you don't like lemonade if you just like the tea I don't know try it and thank me later now I have to go wash my face because I have to be at the gym in like 20 minutes all right so quite a while back Cameron basically from work got two ginormous boxes full of k-cups like for your keurig you know and they were all of the sampler pack sort of things like when you first buy your keurig it comes with a sampler pack of a bunch of different teas and coffees and stuff and he basically got it from work and they were past their sell by date or something so we got two humongous boxes of coffee for free and I've been meaning to go down there because I try and drink decaf as much as possible because caffeine can sort of affect me negatively. So I've been meaning to go downstairs. They're in our storage unit. So I've been meaning to go down there and separate all of the decaf cups from the sampler packs and put them all together so that I can bring them upstairs and put them in my carriage. So I'm going to go down and do a bunch of organizing of coffee. And I'm going to bring you guys with me. And I give in to the lesser fire. My body aches to be satisfied. My weakness comes and goes. My weakness comes and goes. I'm reaching out for the easy high. Please fortify this strength of mine. July. It is a Saturday. I know the lighting is pretty bad, but does this make it worse with that like shadow? I think we'll just leave it like this. I just got back from the store and I picked up a couple of things and I wanted to show you guys what I got. First being this jacket, as you can tell with the tag still on it. This was on such ridiculous clearance. It's not even funny. I might have to lose a couple of more pounds before I can actually button it all the way up, but I think it's already cute. It has a hood. And it was originally 25 bucks and I got it for $6.16. I also grabbed this dress, which I hope fits me because it's adorable. I got a size medium, so it actually might be kind of tight, but it's, it's one of those like flowing swing dresses. So hopefully it will fit me nicely, but it's one of those cold shoulder. And I like these kind of kinds of things because then it shows my shoulders, but it covers my armpit stretch marks is what I call them. And it's got that beautiful like lace detailing up at the top. So pretty, I'm so excited. This one was also on Ridiculous Clearance. It was originally $29 and I got it for $7.16. 
I'm a bargain shopper. I also picked up this journal. How cute is this? Isn't this so me with like the teal, the cool tones? Sprinkled with some warmth in there. I absolutely love this. I've been a major journaler. Since journaler? I've been majorly into journaling since I was in maybe seventh grade-ish? Sixth or seventh grade? And I'm currently, the journal that I'm currently using, I'm like not quite almost done with it. I'm past halfway but I really need to get myself motivated to fill that journal up. So I saw this and I decided to pick it up because it was pretty cheap. It was only eight bucks, I think. And so I picked this up to help me, to help encourage myself to finish my current one so that I can move on to this one because it's so pretty. And my favorite thing about it is that it's not spiral bound, but it lays flat on the table, you know, to the page that you're on. I also picked up another NYC liquid liner in extreme black. I probably have like 17 of these because they're gonna stop selling this brand in the states so i need to stock up on my favorite eyeliner also from the brand nyc i picked up another liquid lip shine i have two others that i really really love and these are like a dollar and 60 cents or something like that this one i'm not gonna lie is in the shade of prospect pink and this is the least favorite one that i own so far it's a pale pink that has some sort of shimmeries in it so it makes my lips look a little crusty a little washed out but i think it'll look really pretty with a darker lip liner underneath it i also picked up an eye cream this is my l'oreal eye defense i've gone through two of these before it's fine it's a drugstore eye cream you know whatever it, it does the job i picked up a new setting spray because these wet and wild ones are pretty small i like to always have a backup on hand because i never know when i'm gonna breeze through it. I picked up a new candle for the background of my videos. This is Juicy Black Cherries by the brand Candlelight Company because this was like less than six bucks. You know what? That kind of smells kind of Play-Doh-y now that I'm really, really smelling it. This sounds so weird. I bought myself a new pillow because my husband is always stealing my pillow. He doesn't like his pillow, so he always tries to steal mine. It starts with him like snuggling me, so he's laying on my pillow, and then he'll literally try to like pull it out from underneath my head in the middle of the night. And so he's been begging me. He's like, why don't we go to the store? We'll get you a new pillow, and then I can have your pillow. It's not even that he wants a new pillow. He wants my pillow pillow so he's gone on a trip with his mom and his sister right now so while he's gone I decided to pick myself up a new pillow so he can have mine when he gets home and I also got a box if you were wondering to ship my nephew his 16th birthday present 16 I have a 16 year old nephew yes I'm 20 years old and I have a 16 year old nephew <gasps> now if you'll excuse me I'm gonna go write in my current journal so that I can start using this one ridiculous mess behind me. Basically, I just really quickly wanted to share with you guys before I sit down to do my makeup. I went downstairs to grab some old like spring and summer clothes that I was keeping downstairs because I just knew that they didn't fit me anymore. I've mentioned before on my channel that I had some serious weight gainage issues. So the beginning of this spring when I brought up my spring clothes from, you know, downstairs, I didn't bring the stuff that I knew wouldn't fit me. But today I decided to go downstairs and see what was down there, see if I thought maybe anything would fit me. And uh, I had this pair of black shorts that I love. I bought them on my 18th birthday. I wore them when I first moved here. And the last time that I tried them on must have been a year or so ago, about this time last year, last spring and summer. And when I tried them on, I kid you not, I couldn't get them past my knees. Like I couldn't get them to my thighs. The second they hit my thighs, it was like, uh-uh, not happening. And so I got them out and Cam was sitting there on the bed. He's like, why don't you try them on? And I was like, because I know they're not going to fit me and then I'm going to feel crappy about myself. And he was like, just try it. And it's okay if they don't fit you, you know. 
I got them on, I got them past my knees, onto my thighs, and I got them all the way up on my hips, where they go. And I immediately started crying, and Cameron was like, I'm proud of you? And I was like, they're not gonna button. No way, I'm not even gonna try, they're not gonna button. And Cam was like, try to button them. And they buttoned and they zipped. I kind of look a little bit like a hooker in them. They're they're tight. They're ridiculously tight. They don't fit me perfectly. I'm not going to wear them out in public. But last time I tried them on, they couldn't move past my knees. My knees, people. So I guess I just wanted to mention that really quickly in this vlog to let you guys know that if you're also trying to lose weight, you can do it. You can get past your knees, people. It's your turn. It is? Yeah. yeah. bun back here and I popped my nail off. Oh, we're gonna be super cool. No. Thank you. Active now. Hi, Daddy. Hi. I need your help. Okay. I need to, um, I want to fix all of this, like, stuff that Kaiser did when he was a puppy, you know? Yeah. And I have this spackle stuff, and I tried to do it, like, a long time ago. I tried to do it right here, but it looks like there's, like, little bits of, like, the drywall and stuff in there. Do I have to sand it before I fill it in? Do you see how much irritation you've caused me, Kaiser James? Hi, Kaiser. So for the past like several hours, I've been re-situating, rearranging, slash redecorating my house. I just meant to take down the air mattress and put my furniture back where it usually is, but um, do you ever get in those moods where you just get like idea after idea after idea and you just start moving all your furniture and belongings around? So I sort of rearranged my setup. Over there by the office chairs, there used to be a futon right there, which is actually pretty recent. We just recently got that futon. So here's my vanity and that's where I set my camera that's my monitor so I can see I'm gonna start sitting on this hope chest that my grandpa actually made me when I graduated high school and then I sort of rearranged some of the decor on the wall behind me for my background and then I moved the futon into our bedroom I have wanted some type of piece of furniture here by this window for so long because my poor dog always sits on the very corner of our bed right there just to look out the window and just, you know, see what's up. So I moved the futon from the spare room into our bedroom right in front of the window so that he can look out the window as he wants, as his little heart desires. And hopefully he'll start sleeping on that because there is not enough room on this stinking bed for the three of us. I used to have some like decor pieces up above our bed that I moved. I had that dream canvas thing over our bed as well as the fleur-de-lis that's right there behind me while I film now. I moved around Kaiser's crate. This hope chest used to be in our bedroom, so I moved that into there. In order to fit the futon there, I had to move our bed over, so my poor husband's gonna come home and be like, what did you do to my house while I was gone? So that's what I've been up to. Please excuse this very 
flattering angle I got going on in this atrociously applied lip color that I'm wearing. This is ColourPop Notion. It's just so stinking dark that I can't get like a precise application. And I didn't have a lip liner that matched it. It looks kind of patchy, doesn't it? I even took concealer around the outside of my mouth. It was it was a struggle. But I just wanted to come on here and wrap up this vlog. I know that it was really sporadic because it's it's almost like a month-long vlog, but I only vlogged a little bit like once or twice a week, maybe. So I hope that you guys liked it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up, but make sure that you're subscribed so you don't miss any future videos of mine, and I will see you guys next time.